What's up, guys? It's Wednesday. It's another Pokemon day. This time we are going to be redoing the Vile Plume run. Uh, if I remember correctly, hey, Igor, what's up, my dude? Uh, if I remember correctly, Vile Plume was one of the earlier runs that we did. Um, <clears throat> hello, Taco. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, so it's been a minute. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, Vileplume actually did pretty good. Uh, I have not looked at what his time was or anything like that. Uh, it's a new game. Basically, yeah, same here. Same here. I'm tempted, because I already got the game pulled up, right? And I'm tempted, because as you can see, I have this continue button. I have this continue button here. I'm tempted to click it just to see what moveset I have for old Vileplume. What? We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that today. I've done that in the past a few times, but for whatever reason, today I've decided that we're not. Uh, but we'll, what we are going to do, we're going to look at his stats. We're going to look at his moveset. We're going to try and plan out what moves we're going to be using, as we always do. And then we're going to get started. All right, so moves. Generation 1 through 5. All right, so we have pretty good moves, or pretty good stats, I should say. Uh, except for speed. Speed is kind of trash, but that's makes sense. Flowers not really known for their uh, high velocity antics. So having him only at 50 speed kind of makes sense. It is a bit unfortunate, but what are you going to do, right? What's really nice is we have a triple digit special stat at 100. Um, <clears> tax <throat> stat of 80, defense of 85, like, all of our stats are really good, except for speed, right? So, um, what problems is that going to bring us? That will bring us issues when we deal with Alakazam. That will bring us issues when we deal with flying types. So, Pidgeot, specifically, um... Specifically the Champions Pidgeot, right? Because up until that point, I think Rival 6 has flying moves, but I don't think that any of the Rival fights before that. Maybe Rival 5? I don't think Rival 4 or 3 or before then have any flying moves on the Pidgeotto. Um, so Lorelei is going to be an issue because of the ice moves. Any fire Pokemon are going to be a problem with their fire moves. Um, but ice and fire still have to get over that 100 special stat as well. So uh, there's that to deal with. It looks like you got a bit of a buff in uh, later generations, Gen 6 onwards. Got an extra 10 special attack, which is nice, but not something that we have to care about today. And then, our moveset. So, we start off with Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, Acid, and Petal Dance. That's a hell of a moveset to start with, Jesus. Um. Hey, Toxic! What's up? I remembered. I remembered. Uh... Yeah, Petal Dance is going to absolutely fucking demolish Brock. Acid is actually going to take care of most of the bug types, right? Because it hits for neutral, whereas Petal Dance will be double resisted. Both of these are stab as well, by the way, so very nice on there. Uh, Acid will is a physical move in Gen 1. Petal Dance. We're doing Vile Plume today. We're doing Vile Plume today. Um... And Petal Dance, a 70 base power grass move. Um, this is basically grass thrash for anybody who doesn't know. Um, it locks you into this move for, I think it's two to three turns. Well, let's actually double check. Um, then one, three to four turns. It's base power 70, blah, 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 blah. Only on the turn Petal Dance is first called. So we actually have 60 to 80 Petal Dance attacks before we run out of power points, which is kind of insane, right? Like, that's that's bonkers. 
Um, that pedal dance is finished. User becomes confused due to fatigue. Yes. So that's the downside. After our three to four turns, we will be confused. Um, uh, we could race in Pokemon Red and Blue for fun, of course. Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point. Um, it would not. I would probably not be able to do that on stream. Um, simply because I just there's a lot of stuff that I need to do on stream. Um, but we could do it. I don't want to. I don't want to promise anything. I don't want to promise anything. Uh, because. Yeah, my off-stream schedule is also kind of full. Uh, my weekends tend to be fairly free, but I also tend to spend them catching up on the hours of sleep that I don't get during the week. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't want to make any promises, but uh, if you're if you're in the Discord, hit me up and uh, we can we can talk. Uh, so yeah, I feel like pedal dance. I think I I think I got rid of pedal dance in my last playthrough. Um, I think I swapped it out for Mega Drain because Mega Drain, while it's like way weaker, it also has the heal aspect. It also doesn't have the confusion aspect. So I think I went for, with Mega Drain. I think we're not going to do that this time. I think that Pedal Dance is actually worth keeping. Um. Yes, thank you, Igor. Um. And in fact... I wonder if I do that, actually, I'm going to do that on this, and I'm curious if it will pop up the bots on both sides. It does. It does. Okay, so that's the bots on both sides. Um. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um. So yeah, we also have we also get sword stance, which is like incredibly good. Body slam, which is really really good. Um. Now here's the question: What four moves do we use? Because there's actually five that I want, right? There's five moves that I want. I want pedal dance. I want sword stance. I want body slam, and I want mimic. Because unfortunately. Wait, pedal dance, sword stance, body slam, sleep powder. Sorry, I didn't mention sleep powder. Sleep powder, pedal dance, sword stance, body slam, mimic. Those are the five moves that I want. Um, the reason that I want mimic is because I would like to mimic Dream Eater off of the Gengar in uh, on Agatha. Because nothing that we have does good against... Uh, yeah, yeah, none of those other moves are good against the ghost types in this game, right? Because they're ghost poison, so they resist the pedal dance. Um, and as you can see, nothing else here is going to be good. Acid is even worse because it's double resisted. That's why we had so much problem, so much trouble with uh, Weedle. So it's very difficult. Hmm. Hmm. So I think what we do is I think we keep everything but mimic until we get to Agatha. And then, oh my god, there's like not a good move to get rid of for Mimic. Because Body Slam is what we're going to use against Lance. Hmm. Maybe I don't teach Body Slam until that point, too. Pedal Danceless Challenge. 
we could get rid of pedal dance for agatha and then teach mega drain afterwards it's weaker but that might be what we end up doing because we really should have body should we have body slam for lance does it matter i mean we could end up killing ourselves with pedal dance right if we get really bad luck with confusion we could end up killing ourselves with pedal dance um Hmm. Body Slam is also resisted by Aerodactyl, whereas Mega Drain would be... So, here's what I think we do. Here's what I think we do. I think we... I think we go Sleep Powder, Petal Dance, Sword Stance, Body Slam until we get to Agatha. I think we swap Petal Dance for Mimic for Agatha. And then after Agatha, we teach Mega Drain over Mimic for the last two trainers. I think that's the best thing for us to do. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. All right. Now, because there's such a curious thing, I am actually... So I lied. We're going to continue. Uh, let's see. Oh, I accidentally saved at Lance, apparently. Body slam, sword stance, mimic, mega drain. So I didn't have sleep powder. Oh man, how the hell did I get past Agatha? I think I know what I did. I think what I did last time, when I did this last time, I think I mimicked uh, Nightshade. I think that's what I did. I think I mimicked Nightshade off of Agatha. And that's how I killed her. Which is so much worse. Plus six attack pedal dance. Pedal dance is special. And I also don't have pedal dance. <laughs> um, Yeah, so. I think, yeah, I think what I did was I mimicked Nightshade and I just spammed Nightshade, which doesn't match that much, right? Because I only got five power points down on Mimic. Hmm. I don't know. I actually don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was a bad strat. We are better now. We are smarter. We are smarter players of this video game. Um, all right. And what? Speaking of video games. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, let's swap this for this. Let's make you a bigger boy because you are a big boy. Uh, actually. You gotta reset the deaths because we are not at 55 we are actually at zero zero and yeah oh uh three two one go wait why did you why did you not go why did you not start hello there we go All right. <laughs> everything's working as intended uh what is my name my name is the same as always p-o-n-d-o-o-r uh His name is America. Miss America Chavez. What do you mean that movie came out years ago and I should move on? Shut up. <sighs> uh. So yeah, uh... This fight is going to be hilariously easy because we're going to fucking pedal dance a level five Squirtle and it's going to explode. He is faster than I am, though. Oh, God. Wait, why do I have... 
Wait, why are the options wrong? Why are the options wrong? I set those. I checked those. They were correct. What the fuck? That's weird. Think old games using an ABCD keyboard layout, but nowadays QWERTY is the standard. I have never seen a non-QWERTY uh, keyboard. Never in my life. Was that a thing at one point? Because aren't even like typewriter keyboards QWERTY? Or no? Maybe not. What am I doing? I'm like going back home. Also, what game are you playing that has an ABCD keyboard? Oh, 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 oh. Well, like, that's less a keyboard layout, though. That's just, these are the letters that you have available to you. I never thought, I never once thought about that as a keyboard layout. All right. Also, good thing is we are immune to poison damage or immune to poison status. So we don't have to pick up those extra couple of antidotes that I tend to get. Uh, is it worth it to fight these guys? No, we're actually going to skip these traders. There's no point at all in fighting these guys. Use that until Gen 5 until they swapped to QWERTY. Really? They did? I did not know that. Also, you guys might notice, um, we got, we got a different, uh, background music. Oh, wait, it's like super quiet. So you guys might actually not notice, uh, it's been a while since we did some game chops background music. We've been doing a lot of, uh, Glitch X City lately. So I decided to swap it up today. We are in fact using Game Chops today as our background music. Uh, if you like the music, go check them out. <laughs> we, we're just gonna quickly skip a, uh, a level there. That's fine. We went from level seven to level nine. It's fine. <laughs> um, I actually don't think that we need to even heal. I think we could just fight Brock right away. Yeah, because that's kind of how I expected that fight to go. <laughs> All right. Sub four minute and 30 second Brock. That's pretty good. I'm fairly happy with how things are going so far. Uh, we don't need to buy anything here. Hi, baby. What's up, buddy cat? Yeah. Kind of expect um, Weedle to survive those. So quick, just like Abra. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like Abra. Yep. Mm-hmm. 100% like Abra. Um... Fuck it. I'm curious. It is half damage. Okay, that's good. Buddy. Uh, we are getting a little bit low, but we also have potions. We also have potions. <clears throat> what are you doing? You gonna get down? Bye, kitten. Oh, we use acid first. Oh, it dropped its defense. Hell yeah. Poison powder. We are not gonna learn poison powder. No reason to. Poison powder is slow and it also doesn't really help us at all. Uh, you also have nothing that's really worthwhile. I'm just gonna pedal. Oh, you survive a pedal dance. Okay. Don't be. Oh, shit.
Well. <laughs> Cool. I was hoping that it wouldn't uh, wake up before the, we got the Pokeball in. Um, how am I looking on PowerPoints? 60, we got plenty. Uh, what trainer? I kind of forgot what trainers we have to deal with in Mount Moon. Poison types, a lot of poison types. All right, I am going to heal. Not for psychological reasons, though we'd prefer a layout like that, but it was with a layout with close letters as spreaded as possible. Wait. You mean like, um, commonly used letters? Oh my god. Two keys at once in a typewriter and jam it? Uh, uh, oh, okay. So like spread out the commonly used letters so that okay that makes sense stay asleep i can't i have to weaken him more Fucking Geo, dude. Why are you so such a pain in the ass to catch? Don't you fucking break out. Okay, good. A lot of keyboard enthusiasts change their layout. I would not know what to do if I didn't have a QWERTY layout. I would be so fucking just like broken as a typist if I were to not have a QWERTY layout on my keyboard. <laughs> Well, we couldn't catch that Paris even if we wanted to because we are out of Pokeballs now. The Telegraph puts that they put a paywall behind their article. Typewriter. Fuck that. It's so frustrating whenever you're like reading an article and they're like, hey, you could read the first two paragraphs, but if you actually want to read the rest of it, you got to pay us, bitch. Like, all right. Is the Dvorak layout? I've. Is that like a fucking Power Rangers villain? Oh god! There's a Zubat. Zubats are actually terrifying here. Um. Well then. That's death. Um, except for the fact that Geodude might actually win this because I have no choice but to attack. Yeah. All right. We're still counting that as a death. I'm still going out. We just got past the Zubat. To waste everyone's time, right? The boring stuff. I'll have to look that up. Because I've never really, uh, never really even thought about different layouts to keyboards but like the fact that i've been using qwerty keyboards and the fact that i've been like i'm like actually a pretty decent speed when it comes to typing um not like professional or anything but like i could probably go professional after like you know trying for a week or so like actually practicing um 
if I were to try and like upend all of that practice, like fucking 30 years ish of practice. Um, I legitimately don't know how I would even do it. Quartz tripped me a little when I traveled there and had to use the library PCs. Ugh. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Um, cause yeah, we definitely need to use pedal dance here. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm just stuck on pedal dance. Wow. I was just stuck on pedal dance until I was no longer disabled. So that's cool. Four or so letters swapped around. I think that's even worse than just having a completely different layout. I I think I think subtle changes like that is worse than a completely different layout because you're just gonna fucking. The hell was that noise? Um, I got distracted by a noise that my cat just made and completely forgot what we were talking about. Uh, I buy five repels. No, 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 I do. I No, I, I want to do the thing. Get rid of that. Yeah, we ended up using all five fucking, uh, I'm not even going to say before these fights, uh, ended up using all five fucking, um, things. Okay, so that's not a sound coming from my cat. Which is good because I didn't I don't think that that's a natural sound to come from cats. I would rather not have an eldritch being living with me. I'm going to be entirely honest. Might be a little bit racist. But, you know, I feel like being racist against eldritch monstrosities is okay. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to be that person and I'm going to say racism against eldritch nightmares is okay. What is that nightmare of a thing that you just typed? No, 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 no. Don't hurt yourself in confusion. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Okay, there we go. Uh, you swap between Spanish and English layouts, but the changes are only the Enya and some symbols. Okay. I, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I do know that. I, I took Spanish for four years, and that's like one of. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was talking to I, yeah, I was. I didn't save before this fight. This might be my second death. I think. Well, we. Okay, we we're able to put Pidgeo to sleep. It looks like a three-hit KO. Yeah. Dedicated to C with a fucking tail. What? What is C with a tail? Also, we fucking just smashed through Rival 2. This guy is a nightmare for so many runs, and this time around we're just like, eh. It's your SS sound? You can't do that. That's racist. The SS is Nazis. Oh, okay. 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 My neighbors are doing fucking something with their house. That's what the sound was. They're like constructing or something. Wait, wait, wait. So you have a s sound in words, but you also have a dedicated letter to represent SS.
No, that's the beta sign. That's for uh the inferior males. <laughs> no, don't hurt yourself in confusion. Fuck, we already did this. Yeah, I totally forgot how terrifying uh Zubats are to the Oddish line because uh Leech Life is double super effective against us. I don't know what I'm like. I need to save. I need to do a thing. I don't. I don't need to do all the any of these things. I just need to fight this person. Okay, good. The only problem is if we get hit by uh sand attack. If we get hit by sand attack, we're we're in a bad spot. We have 73 health already. Jesus. I don't like the fact that you just said when you want to moan your A's. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Why is it always Zubats? Go away, Zubat. Nobody likes you. Stop it! Fucking hell. We died again. Okay, at least this time... Oh, fuck. I think we die. Or I think we kill it again! Uh... Did I save before this fight? How long ago did I save? It wasn't actually that long ago, right? Oh, it was before this guy. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. There's a sound we can immediately differentiate natives from non-natives. You guys can't make the whatever that sound is if your life's dependent on it. Well, I don't even know what the fuck sound that's supposed to be, because, uh... I'm glad that I just got a Gen 1 miss against this Zubat that's already killed me once. Could I stop hitting myself in confusion, please? Jesus Christ. I have done more damage to myself than my enemies have done to me so far. I have killed myself more times than my enemies have beaten me. And by that, I mean both times that I've died, it has been because of confusion. And I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be honest. Not really a fan of all of this stuff. Uh, we're saving because I don't want to deal with that again. Can't do most foreign sounds. That's why I just copy Raphael Nadal's English pronunciation. I don't know who that is because I am uncultured. I guess I don't know. He might. Oh, uh, why do I never get the four times? I never get the four times. Could I hit, please? It's three times in a row. By the way, I hit myself in confusion three times in a row. Remember how I said that the only time a Spanish tennis player? Ah. Uh, but yeah, remember how I said that I've done more damage to myself than my en enemies have done to me? And then I hit myself in confusion three more times? I'm starting to think that I've been lied to by Bulbapedia and that it's not actually three to four turns and that it's actually specifically three turns only. Because I have yet to see a more than three turn uh, pedal dance, I think.
All right. Spanish tennis player and he's the reference for English speaking? Yeah, why not? I mean, if he can speak English, why not? Right? Oh, uh, what does this guy have? He has a, a fucking... I can never remember. I know he's got a drowsy. What the hell is his per first Pokemon? Machop. Machop a drowsy. That's what it is. That'll dance for both of them. Unfortunately, Vileplume cannot learn Dig. That would kind of make sense, right? Vileplume as a flower learning Dig. All right, I think we just acid all of these Pidgey. <gasps> he survives. That's actually really bad for us. Okay, don't survive? Fuck. That's what I was scared of. That's what I was, I was scared of. Uh, him, them surviving means that they had a chance to hit me with sand attack on any one of their turns. Fortunately, two of them just went for straight attacks, so it didn't end up mattering that much. I uh, can't get rid of that. Or can't use that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we need to keep... Mega Drain. And we need to keep... What was the other one? Uh, oh, Mimic, once we get it. Yep. Finally. Finally, we can hit fucking grass types. Well, grass poison. Well, uh, things, words. Uh, we're gonna get rid of stunt spore because I think acid is still worthwhile having. Or let's get our. Why is that a xenophobic question? No, we got burned, you fuck. Um, all right. Well, we have a full restore, so we're going to use that. Okay, uh y'all are going to have to explain that to me. Why would that potentially be a xenophobic question? Because I see that question and I'm like, what is that like? I feel like that's similar to asking you like, hey, did you play tic-tac-toe or something like that? Because I don't know what tibia is. I've actually never heard of that before. Except for, you know, the bone in your arm. So I'm just like very, very lost right now. <laughs> Well, you see, tibia is like tag, but to tag a person, you actually have to break their fucking arm. MMORPG that was only famous in Latin third world countries like two decades ago. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Had better graphics in it. Oh. oh, yeah, I got to trade the Spiro. That's right. El Chavo del Ocho. Okay, so I, I recognize three out of the four words there. What is Chavo? Oh man, I could teach cut to my main Pokemon and waste a Pokemon uh, fucking moose slot on it. Spiritual animal? Okay. 
Uh, I think I just body slam. Oh, fuck you. You would. All right, never mind. Character from a comedy show from the 60s or so. Okay. Ah, the scariest move in this fucking gym. Actually, gonna. Actually, I think I acid you. Acid is actually not that much weaker than body slam. Because it is stab, so it's actually 60 power on Vile Bloom. Uh, let me pop that super potion. I just really, really hope that we can get past this guy's Pikachu without being paralyzed. That's all I want. So remember that thing I just fucking said? Remember how I immediately got fucked over because I said that thing? Really, literally the last one, huh? Dragon Ball! Hell yeah. Dragon Ball's good shit. Dragon Ball's good shit. I got... So, drag... Well, not Dragon Ball specifically, but Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, and Sailor Moon were like my intro to... Uh, anime oh good i'm i'm glad i rolled that 25 percent three times in a row that's super fucking cool video game thanks for that oh we're at 80 percent paralysis we're now at five out of six for fully paralyzed so that's super cool okay there we go we did it Jesus Christ. Get me the hell out of this fucking gym. Why can't that ever happen when I paralyze somebody? That's how strong it was during our growing up. Hell yeah. Uh, Geodude can dig. Immediately healing because fuck that noise. Guys, I remembered to get a bike. Aren't you proud of me? Did I, like, hit the fucking tree, please? But yeah, I fucking watched the shit out of some Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. Had no idea what the fuck was going on in Gundam Wing, except for, ah, <laughs> fucking giant robots go boom. Oh, okay. So we're going to want to body slam. Really big here. I mean, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z are big everywhere, I feel. They're just like the most wide. I feel like it's the most widespread anime. Oh wait, Venonat's also bug poison, so that was actually neutral. I feel like Body Slime would have killed the Venonat there. Put the repels in. Good thing about this fight, both of these guys are weak to pedal dance. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were also big. Oh yeah. More marketed than DBZ, they all have the Satan scare because kids were bringing cards to Oh fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. Sold toys and progress. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean Pokemon is to this day, the single biggest multimedia company in the in the world. Like, by a large margin. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think we looked it up on stream at one point. It just compared all of the different uh, fucking companies that were like the big multimedia companies. And it's like Pokemon and then I think Star Wars. I think Star Wars is second. I don't know why I'm saving before this fight when I have a Vile Plume with Petal Dance. Ah! Hi. Buddy. All right. Oh, I got a repel again. Yeah, I yeah, Pokémon I definitely watched a lot. Um what what does she got? She's got Meowth, Pidgey. Okay, so yeah, she's got two out of her three Pokémon we don't want to use Battle Dance against. Yeah, cuz Oddish is the third. We are level 32. Holy shit. I did not realize we were this high a level. I'm trying so hard not to fucking uh just stop playing entirely <laughs> while I pet the cat. But it's very difficult. Vulpix has slightly yeah, I was about to say Vulpix should be a one shot. Vulpix is not quite as tanky as Growlithe is, although Vi uh not Vile Plume, um Nine Tails. I don't know why I said almost said Vile Plume instead of Nine Tails. Oh, wow, I stopped way early today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. I. Uh. I did not get as much into Yu-Gi-Oh! as I did, uh, like, Dragon Ball or Pokemon. Uh, those were, like, the two big ones when I was a kid. Uh, as you can see by the game that I play two to three times a week on stream here. Um. I am something of a pa of a fan of Pokemon. Strange, I know. Get out of here with your hyper paying. Get it. Oh hell. Hey, we had a four turn. Hell yeah. For once. For once we had a four turn. Um I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. One and three are available, but Dragon Age 2 is not, so I try to change my Xbox region to play it. Oh, uh, yeah. Really? You don't believe me? I know, right? It's weird. Imagine a grown man being somebody who just sits around and plays Pokemon multiple times a week. Honestly, it's pretty disgusting. Nothing wants to stream anymore. Oh, shit. I didn't get the key. I didn't get the key. I did the thing that I... I haven't done that in a couple of days. Or a couple of weeks. Where I get the rare candy and then immediately like, Alright, I'm done on this fucking floor. I can't believe I did that. Actually, I definitely can. I could definitely believe that I did that. Guys, we're getting close. We're getting close to getting the third. I'm sorry, the fourth of our five pieces. No. Oh, wait, we want six pieces, don't we? What are you? You're not, you're like an awakening or something. That's right. Yeah, we want like six different moves for our, our, uh, move set, don't we? Uh, 
I wonder if the Ekans dies. Not quite. It's very close, but not quite. All right. Uh, I hope that, uh, were you able to just swap it back to your normal region? So I hope that that would be enough to let you get back to normal, at least. Also, is it Dragon Age 2 like the one that nobody liked? So maybe it's better for you to not have it in your area? <laughs> I think some minutes, hours for it to stabilize. Yeah, I, I hope it's not a big deal. You're faster than me, huh? Interesting. Dragon Age 2 has the best story, so the gameplay looks like... Oh, is it? Okay. I don't know shit all. Um... Oh yeah, we were just talking about this yesterday on stream. I don't know shit all about the Dragon Age games. Um. <laughs> that is Thunderbolt. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of the two nuggets. Uh, uh, and we can get rid of that. And I can also toss the iron on my Vile Plume. And the HP up on my Vile Plume. Only played Mass Effect. So who here... Who is here now that was here when I played Mass Effect 1 on stream? Was Is anybody here today that was here when I played that game on stream? And also, who here remembers when I rage quit that game? <laughs> uh i think i buy carbos i think i want to get as much speed as possible very quickly Love DA2. Glad there's another enjoyer. Lurking. I appreciate the lurk, by the way. Uh, Yeah, I think we're going to buy all the carbos because I want to get as much speed as I can. That's like the one thing that's like really, really hurting me right now. Is a lack of speed. Oh, no, no. It's fine. I, I, this was like back when I only streamed on Twitch. Uh, that's why you can't find any Mass Effect stuff on my on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, so I played through Mass Effect, and I was playing through Mass Effect One, which it's it's okay at this point. It's it's got some aginess to it, but it's not the worst thing in the world, right? So play it through Mass Effect One, and I get to the final area of the game. Um, I get to the final area of the game and I'm playing through that and I flip the Mako. And the way that the game is designed, the game is designed so that regardless of what you do to that fucking tank, you can, it can always right itself. Like that's, that's how it's designed. Well, I found the one way that you could flip it where it can't right itself. And I couldn't get out. I couldn't do anything. I was literally locked. I was so I I had hard locked the game. I needed to reset to the most recent save, which was like forty five minutes before. And um, I was also not having a great time at that point when I played through that game. Um, I was already kind of frustrated with the game at that day. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what I ended up pulling up to play after that. 
instead. It might have been like Phasmo or something. I just remembered that I was like, fuck this game, I'm done. And I pulled up something else and played that for the rest of the stream. And uh, never went back to it. I haven't played it since. I've been thinking about maybe doing another run on stream. Uh, do we use... We actually could use the PowerPoint up on Body Slam. I think that's actually a good investment for us. So she's got three. We got three. Would I like to try the Dragon Age games? Uh... I don't know. Like, the thing is, I'm kind of... I don't really want to start playing, like, super big and open games anymore. I kind of just like playing games that are, like, very focused. Um... Like Hades or Phasmo or Pokemon to an extent, right? Like I get that like later Pokemon, like the the later the Pokemon games get, the bigger those games get. But like they're still like I don't because like if I get into Dragon Age. If I do Dragon Age, I will tell you exactly what's going to happen if I do Dragon Age. I'm going to play Dragon Age and I'm going to spend a hundred plus hours in that game. And most likely I'm going to end up getting frustrated with it. Um, because Okay, so we do now have... Yeah, so I'm going to immediately deposit that in a Pokemon Center. Um, shit, I forgot. Shocking absolutely nobody. I forgot to get Fly. <laughs> I... So here's the thing. I see Meryl. I think of the blue Pokemon. That's what I think of when I see Meryl. Now I know I, I know that that's not what you're talking about, partly because it's a different spelling. But yeah, I have absolutely no idea who that is. Not Bills. Uh I might as well deposit some of these other ones as well that I don't need anymore, right? Don't need that. We do need the bike. We don't need the self scope. Or we do need the self scope. We don't need the lift key. Jesus Christ. We don't need that anymore. And that should be. You can imagine Meryl is Meryl. Uh, how many repels? I got two more. Okay, that should be fine, I think. Should be fine, I think. Um. How are you still alive? Okay, you died. Acid. Oh, nice crit, though. I think that crit probably mattered. Um. By the way, speaking of Meryl. Speaking of Meryl, I have very recently um, started using Azumarill as one of my main uh, terror raid partners. And holy shit, is that guy really fucking good? Do I just pedal dance here? I think I just pedal dance here. Yeah, we got a four hit. Hell yeah. Huge power. Yeah. Huge power Meryl with fucking... I grabbed the wrong one. Um, actually wanted this one. Huge power Meryl with belly drum and then either uh was it shell bell or leftovers is so fucking strong 
Um, it's like salt in the wound. Yeah. Don't do it. Fuck. Stop it. Holy fuck. One of these days, one of these days, I will be able to get confused and actually get my attacks off. It will be fucking glorious. Do I have just normal potions still? Oh, I have an HP up that I can get rid of. Did I already go through all of my normal potions? No shit. Wow. Okay. Sap Sipper is also a great ability to have to pivot safely. Yeah, so I don't do... um. I don't do, like, online battling. I just do the terror raids. So there's no switching, really. Uh, you just have the one Pokemon, right? But, yeah, I use him. Um, my four go-tos. All right, I have, I have five that I really use. Um... Azumarill, Iron Hands, uh, Skeledurge, Goldango, and Esperatha. Those are my five. And those five are so good in raids. I think of those five, um... <laughs> It is actually still the same song. Um, it's just... Yeah, it's doing its thing. Um, I think of those five Pokemon, I think Skeledurge is probably the worst for raids. Um, and that's because it takes so long for its stat boosting to actually become relevant really uh and because the terastalized raid pokemon can just undo all of your stat boosts at at any time really um that's like the major uh risk when you have belly drum as your main strat yellow dirge with throat spray is chef's kiss what does throat spray do I can't remember. Um, I currently have it with just um without it, it doesn't have throat spray. It has wise glasses on right now. Use a special attack when you use a singing move. Oh, okay. Uh, anything that I can sell? A nugget. I can also get rid of this awakening because that's useless to me. There we go. Let's do special attack when you first when you use this fire song move. Okay, that is actually really good. Yeah. Um. Do you know if that is returned to you after a raid, or do you have to get a new one every time you go into a raid and use that? Oh, I'm like... Returns at the end? Okay. I was like, is this like a berry situation where it's used up, or is it like a uh uh like a focus sash? Oh wait, no 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 no, we don't want to do that. Uh oh wait, yeah we do. Yeah we do, yeah we do, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the balloon, not the berry. Okay, cool. I will have to look into that. Uh, I definitely did forget to heal before coming in here, so we're going to run to the Pokemon Center real quick. Which I probably should just dug at. Well, it's fine. 
Probably should have just dug out of this place, but whatever. Also, hey, guess what? I've learned a thing recently, uh, guys. I learned that this teleporter right here takes you to the third floor, so we can actually skip this trainer now. Which will save a little bit of time. Uh, that trainer also has a Hypno, which is a nightmare, so it's actually nice to be able to skip that guy. Uh -oh. Hey, Shelby. Can come over? Hi. It's a baby girl. Uh, we're going to put you to sleep. What are you doing, kitten? Nice crit. Uh, I think we need to body slam the Growlithe as well. Execute, we can acid. That makes sense. Oh, be careful, kitten. Damn. Okay. Uh, I did forget a thing. I did forget a thing. I totally forgot to fucking teach, uh... <laughs> I kind of forgot to teach Sword Stance before going into this fight. Uh, that does mean that we are finally getting rid of Acid, unfortunately. But Sword Stance is going to more than make up for it, right? Um... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Fuck you. God damn it. All right. Well, that's nonsense. Turn one, wake up every time. Imagine if I ever had that luck. Imagine if I ever was able to wake up turn one. Man, that'd be nice. That's fine. Oh, nice crit. You fuck. You fuck. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, the crit killed me. Although I think the Alakazam also has psychic. Okay, actually, we're going to leave here. We're going to leave here for now. We will come back once we have Koga's gym badge. Yeah. We're going to go fight Koga first. We're going to fight Koga first. That's what we're going to do. Koga Blue. Imagine not having to glitch your way past that guy. Go away. Fucking Furos. Yep, we missed the full restore. Not a big deal. Uh, how am I? Did I? Am I healed up? Am I fully healed? I am fully healed. Okay. I am still going to deposit all of the key items that we don't need. Don't need the bike anymore. Don't need the silph scope. Don't need the poke flute. We do still need the card key, so we're going to keep that one. All right. <laughs> so I think of all of the... Going back to the Terra Raid Pokemons. I think of all of the Raid Pokemon that I use, I think I like Esperatha the most. <laughs> uh opportunist is a really fun move or ability to have and uh god damn i got messed up i guess it does make sense right it's i got hit by psychic moves from fucking cadabra <laughs> but like here let me see if can i put you to sleep oh no okay i can Uh, 
Um. <laughs> God damn. All right, I need a drink. One second. Um, learn Mega Punch with them little arms. <laughs> I mean, Abra can. Abra learns Mega Punch, so fuck it. Why not? Okay, good. He's stupid. All right, so this is a one shot for everybody. Now. Uh, please don't. Oh, the crit. The crit! Alright, we're gonna go back and we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal, we're gonna heal. Because Jesus Christ. Uh, but anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like Esperatha the most. Uh, because if you combine Opportunist, which if you don't know, you're sick today, that's unfortunate. What do you have? I hope it's not something too terrible. Um, Opportunist is such a fun ability, first off. First and foremost, just a really fun ability to have. Um, and second off, it's special. It's like a uh, special move. I can't even remember what it's called, but it greatly it, it double reduces the target's special defense, which is something that doesn't really show up that often in uh raid pokemon you don't really get too many pokemon that have that capacity most people that come in focus on boosting their pokemon stats instead of focusing on lowering the uh the raid pokemon stats uh i can't remember the name of it but it's it's esperanza's signature move God damn it, this is what I didn't want. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Uh, I'm going to go heal. Because that next trainer has a drowsy and a hypno, and I do not want to be paralyzed when I'm fighting those guys. Um, It's like Luminous Crash or something like that. It's something Crash. Refreshes their stat adjustments. That's true, but they also have the move that can refresh your stat adjustments. Um... And it's also his strongest move. So you're just using his strongest move and it has the added benefit of also greatly uh, decreasing their special defense each time. Um, so you can just keep doing that. Like it's just it's just a natural part of your attack pattern. Um, here, while we're loading into this, as per... Hell yeah. All right, I think that's just a win. Learn set. Lumina Crash. Flicks damage and lowers the, the target's special defense by two stages. Power of 80. One hundred percent accurate as well, by the way. How are you still alive? That's with plus six. That was a plus six on that man's fucking body slam. And Koga's wheezing just survived. That's insanity. Um, and all the while, every time the, the raid Pokemon boosts its stats, you also get free stat boosts uh, for your own stuff. Because of Opportunist. Highly recommend Esperatha as a Pokemon. Did you not notice we were fighting Koga? Uh, uh -oh. 
Oh, I skipped the max potion. Oops. I haven't done that in a... ever, I think. I think that might be the first time I've ever skipped that. It's fine. Um. Probably because you're sick. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm sick, I am oblivious as hell. Is the ostrich? Yeah. Yeah, it's the psychic ostrich. Uh, it is one of the Pokemon that I used in my playthrough of the game. Okay, so now that we have Koga's gym badge, we also have a couple more levels, right? Because we fought a bunch of trainers. We're going to go fight Rival 5 again. Um, I'm hoping that because of Koga's gym badge and the badge boost glitch, well, speaking of the badge boost glitch, what is our stats looking like? We are very close to leveling up. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to fight one more trainer. I did not mean to go to the fourth floor. I wanted to go to the third floor. Uh, we are actually going to fight this guy now. We f we skipped him before. We're going to fight him now just so that we could level up. Um, Beautiful. Oh, shit. He's got three Pokemon. I thought he only had two. I always get this. I always get that guy's team wrong. I always get his team wrong. Banjo's glitch. Hell yeah. So, actually, uh, seeing those emotes reminded me of a thing. Um, unfortunate. Fuck you. Hey, that right there is why we did this. We got outsped turn one. We got one sword stance in. We suddenly outspeed the Pidgeot. Because badge boost glitch is now boosting our speed because we beat Koga. This is why we beat Koga. We outspeed? We do! Hell yeah. And Blastoise dies to Petal Dance. Blastoise doesn't die to Petal Dance. Interesting. But Petal Dance is also not being boosted by the badge boost. America wants to fight. There's the healthcare joke. Yeah, it's America Chavez. The best character that was ever introduced to the MCU. Uh... Go. Well, okay. Okay, fine. This is why we beat Koga at that point. This is why we chose to beat Koga right then. Is that better? How did I miss? Fucking Gen 1 miss. I'm gonna die now. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're you're very welcome, Igor. You're very welcome. Uh Giovanni is going to be a non-issue, I think. think we just body slam there. I think we body slam the Kangaskhan once and then we pedal dance. Rhyhorn is fucking dead. And I'm hoping Nidoquate no. Uh, so, note to everybody, by the way, in case you weren't aware, Nidoqueen is tanky as fuck. And me expecting her to die to a not, not, or uh, to a normal effective pedal dance was really dumb. Games are still language blocked? Wait, what do you mean language blocked? Like they just they just don't have that language. I recognize the background music. I recognize a song from something. I can't tell you what it is though. It's really bothering me. Oh, it's fucking Link's Awakening. That's what it is. Duh. 
Uh, we have Sabrina left. Play using the crappiest translation imaginable. Can't change the game language to English or anything else. Ugh, gross. Oh, hey, I have a protein. I'm actually kind of surprised that I could still use proteins. It's too low. Really? You can't hear it still? There we go. It's like showing up as slightly less than half the volume of me on my OBS. First dialogue options of the tutorial are, who are you? And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Taco. Um, <laughs> forgot to translate stuff the first dialogue. That's funny. I'm sorry, but that's kind of funny. ROM translation of Japanese only games from the SNES. Dude, there's some crazy mistranslations out there, right? Like some super funny ones too. Rare candy. I can't believe they put two rare candies that close together, right? You got you got two within three rooms of one another. Oh shit. Oh god, I actually don't want to go to either of these, right? It's still weird that the best version of Undertale 1.001 and better inputs on 1.08. Uh, if you want to play the game in Japanese, you have to play the on the worst version. Ew. Really? Wait, what did they change in the inputs for Undertale? Like, I've never played Undertale. Um, I know of it, right? I've seen playthroughs of it. Um, because they were literally everywhere for a long time, right? Uh, let me actually clear out my inventory. I got a lot of shit in here that I don't want to have. Blizzard, we can't learn. A lot of vitamins. Oh, we're out of... Okay. Oh, that's right, because I bought a bunch of Carbos. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh... Full runs will be so much different, right? Oh, hell. All right. So the problem with these two gyms. The problem with these next two gyms is we are weak to all of these Pokemon. <laughs> right? Because we got this gym and we got Sabrina's gym. We got Psychic and we got Fire. Neither of these are good for our Grass Poison type. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm using one sword stance each time because that should allow me to outspeed and uh, apparently not one shot uh, all of the Pokemon that we come up against, except for I think the 41 Rapidash will need more than one sword stance. And apparently the nine tails were a range because we one shot the first one. We did not one shot the second one, despite them both being the same level, right? Um, we have eight body slams left. I'm sorry, we have seven body slams left. So one here, one down there. It's two, two and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. All right. We'll be fine. 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 Um. Oh, fucking hell. No way. 
he's just gonna spam fire spin. Hopefully that makes me faster. Holy shit, it made me faster. Oh my God, get me out of here. Uh, That's a problem. I did not even think about that. That is a fucking problem. Um, we have to fight this guy. We don't have to fight. Oh, we do have to fight him now, fuck. So there's no gate here. So if you're having trouble with this trainer for some reason, you could actually come over here, fight this guy, hope you level up and then come back. Uh, I was hoping for the same thing here because I just never actually look. Not the case. Okay, never mind. He didn't. This guy didn't go for fucking fire spin. We're fine. Uh. Also, that was kind of a blessing in disguise. The fact that we got took so much damage on the uh, on the ponyta because that means that we were forced. To go back and heal, which means that we have all of our power points back. So, hooray! We did it. Also, we've been very lucky with our uh, sleep powders. We've been, like, very lucky with our sleep powders. Uh, um... Oh, shit! I meant to check how much, uh, how much experience I need to level up. 5167. We might be able to get through all of these. We use two sword stances. We should be able to get through all of this without being. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Look. All right. We outsped. We outsped the Arcade. It! The critical hit! You fuck. You fuck. Oh, God damn you. Is that super potion pull? Yeah, that is... That is a Blaine special. That is a... That is a... For whatever reason, that man... Interesting. Oh, interesting. So, Taco, that emote that you just put in doesn't show up in my, uh, there it is. Wow, it just took a thousand years for it to show up. Uh, it didn't show up in my fucking, uh, chat feed. It just showed up as a blank message for a while. That was strange. Uh, sleep powder. All right, so we now know to go for all three sword stands. Um, yeah, like, so, it showed up in the in-stream chat, but it didn't show up in my actual chat. Um, and by that, I mean the restream chat specifically. Uh, oh man, I could teach Fire Blast to my Vile Plume. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to do some shopping. We're going to do some shopping. We're going to get Mimic and we're going to put that bitch in the. Uh, we're going to put Mimic in the uh, in the in the in the in the PC. That's the word I was looking for. Don't need any more Carbos. You don't need Fire Blast. Do have 71,000. We are maxed on speed. Um, I think I want to buy proteins right now.
because most of the Pokemon that we're about to fight are going to be far weaker to physical attacks. Uh, but I'm also going to do the thing that I usually do where I buy three of them. Not a whole bunch at this point because I feel like we're going to be out of... I think we might get two. Oh, we get all three. Interesting. What about the special? We got all three specials as well. Interesting. I thought for sure that we would uh, maximize empowered potions, I guess. <laughs> I guess? Uh, we're talking about Blade. Oh, yeah. So, sorry. I kind of just like fucking derped away from that particular conversation. So, yeah. Uh, Blaine will just use super potions at random. Um... It's really fucking weird. I don't know why he does it, but he will do it. All right, we're putting Mimic in the PC so that I don't accidentally sell it like an idiot because I've done that before, but I don't want to deal with it. Not saving here because I think that this is going to be an overly difficult fight. Um, in fact, I think I could just pedal dance and they all die. That was with Earthquake, right? It's not just with Earthquake. I've also, yeah, the most recent example is I ac me accidentally selling Earthquake. Yeah, um, but it's not the only one. <laughs> it is not at all the only uh, example of me doing that. I don't trust it. Well, I don't know. We probably could have one shot the Kadabra in the Mr. Mime, maybe, with, uh, what's its nuts? With, uh, Pedal Dance. All right, so we're doing a thing here. You might ask, why the hell am I boosting up my attack? Oh, damn, it still doesn't one-shot. Four hit? No. All right, so I have made a mistake. I have made a grave error. Uh, I killed myself. Uh, <laughs> that was my grave error. Um, I was trying to badge boost to get to the point where I could one-shot the ghosts. Unfortunately, all I did by doing that is I made my own self-damage via confusion stronger. Um, I could have... Oh, nice crit. I could have put that first Ghastly to sleep. Could you fucking wake up? Of course not. Of course, I'm just asleep for fucking ever. I hate ghost type Pokemon. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. The ghosts in this game are literally the worst thing ever. There's not a single thing that exists that is worse than the ghost type Pokemon in Gen 1. And their garbage movesets, stop it! Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. All right, we're gonna heal. We just have to do that two more times. Although that trader has the most Pokemon to deal with. 
So it's not going to be as rough. It's like, yeah, she only has one. Uh, unfortunately, it's a higher level, so it's going to be a three hit KO, but it's still just a three hit KO. Um, pop my last super potion. Do this. Save. And go through here. All right. Last one. Fucking stop. Oh, good. I'm paralyzed and I'm confused. That's not going to go poorly for me at all. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine with all that that this just happened. It's not frustrating at all. <sighs> go to sleep. I said go to sleep. I what the why can't that ever happen to me? Why can't that ever happen to me? I never wake up turn one. Stop it. Stop it. Is it just impossible for me to not kill myself? Holy Christ. I. It's a coin flip. It's literally a 50 50. I fucking. Four times in a row. Again. Again. How many times in this run have I hit myself in confusion four times in a row? It's been like four or five times. I swear to God. Or at least it seems that way. We might actually end up with more deaths than my last run, but the run itself might actually be faster. Because... Oh, this is a good start. We're asleep forever and we're also confused. Oh my god, we got an attack off. We got two. Oh, thank Christ. Oh my God. The panic, the immediate panic as soon as I saw that we... Oh. You. God, you're the worst. Jesus Christ. Literally the worst person. Now, fortunately... Fortunately for us, fortunately for us, um, Agatha will not be that bad. Because when we get to Agatha, we will have Mimic and we will be able to Mimic Dream Eater, which will fuck her Pokemon up. We'll be able to absolutely destroy her Pokemon with Dream Eater. Because we already got Sleep Powder. Speaking of Sleep Powder... Stay asleep! You fuck! No, you're dead now. Yet. So we're be gonna be outsped by the Alakazam. Yep. Yep, that was the... Oh, uh, we leveled up. We leveled up. So we were outsped by the Alakazam. That's what happened. Uh, how close are we... No, 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 no. Not switch. 86. All right. We are going to go fight a wild Pokemon. We're going to go fight a wild Pokemon real quick. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. You will do. All right. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. By the way, if you want the easiest way to remember how to get through this gym, you just hold left until you can't anymore, and then you go down. How many deaths on earlier Vileplume? I actually don't know. I haven't looked at the old Vileplume run yet. Uh, why did I go down to items? 
Why would you use Psychic? Literally everything that just happened is terrible for me. Actually, no. The special drop isn't bad. Because the special drop actually badge boosted my speed and my attack. Um, attack is not necessary, but the extra badge boost to speed might be needed to outspeed the Alakazam. I actually don't know. Uh, as is obvious to literally anybody that's ever played Gen 1, Alakazam is incredibly fucking fast. So having an extra badge boost to that is fine. But yeah, we got critical hit, special drop, psychic from a Kadabra. It's like, all right, game, I know you don't like me today, but you could fucking calm down just a little bit. Uh, did I? I, I did actually heal him. Uh, yeah, you have Arbok and Tauros. You just pedal dance the Tauros. Because, yeah, it's definitely going to be at least, at most, a two shot. I wonder what he's going to end up doing. What is Nidorito? He's probably going to spam Poison Sting. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Really? Oh, I think I crit. That's why. I was like, how the hell did you survive that? Because cause, uh, I crit, so I didn't get the, uh, the full damage of the uh, plus four. You should be an easy death. I was going to say, Dugtrio probably outspeeds. There's not really much I could do about that. Um, well, that's not entirely true. I could have... I could have done a thing. words. I kind of lost what I was saying. Kind of lost track of what I was saying. Um. Oh, I could have badge boosted my speed on the, the sand slash, but if I were to do that, that would risk, um, that would actually risk a sand attack, which is way more deadly to us at this point. All right. Speaking of badge boosting on an earlier Pokemon, uh, I should have checked my stats. Okay, so we got plenty. I don't need to worry about badge boost for the rest of the Pokemon, but I really, really need to make sure that I badge boost uh, hardcore. Oh shit, I shouldn't have been using Sword Stance that often. I think I should have just used one. Oh, because now we are confused. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Um, I also probably should have fucking healed before I tried to fight the gym leader. <laughs> um, oh, do I really only have my full restores? Oh, shit. Oh, there's one less. I don't need to sleep powder either. I'm just gonna do one sword stance. This is kind of a test. I just wanna test and see if I outspeed the Dugtrio. I do not outspeed the Dugtrio after one sword stance. So I actually do need to get two of them. Yeah. This is what I was worried about. At least I'm not confused. At least I'm not confused. I'm also not one-shotting the Nidoqueen or the Nidoking. 
So had this fight gone worse, because yeah, once I got past the Nido King, it was easy. Uh, Pedal Dance was going to one shot right on regardless. Um, yeah, so that fight definitely could have been a lot cleaner. It was pretty damn messy, but I think that's fine. Okay, uh, so this Pidgeot can use Wing Attack or Agility against me. I kind of want it to use Wing Attack turn one. So I can put it to sleep, and then I can set up against it. Beautiful. Now stay asleep, you fuck. There's three. All right, we're good to go. Shit. Green Hill Zone? I do not know. I was not, I was not paying attention. I just know that this is another, uh... This is another Zelda song. Okay, so we were able to uh, one-shot the Blastoise, which is a good sign for the champion fight. Really, really, really don't want to not one-shot the Blastoise. Although, um, another thing about the champion fight, the champion fight, we will actually be s a bit safer because the Rhydon doesn't come in until after the... Uh, Rhydon comes in after the Alakazam. So we will set up against the Pidgeot, just like we just did. Uh, we're going to hope for what we actually would love to see. I would love to see a Sky Attack. Turn one. And then we put it to sleep. Um. Hey, this is Final Fantasy IX. Uh, what is this? Oh, fuck. What, what area is this from? I'm like really trying to remember what fucking like, zone this song comes from in Final Fantasy IX. Is this Lindblom? Is this Lindblom? Place I'll return to someday. That doesn't help me. It's not Alexandria, right? Oh, by the way, speaking of cities and theme songs, um, not this past week, but the week before, uh, my auto bill judgment day video got copyright claimed because of the theme song of the capital city in the game. I have played that game so many times and I have so many uploads of that game on my channel and I've never once been copyright claimed for any of those videos. But for whatever reason, the one where I'm probably talking the most over the uh, theme of that city is uh, the one where it got claimed. So we will be having the music turned off whenever we are doing runs and when we are doing our... Uh, What was that one? Legend? No, that was the one. Uh... No, 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 no. For it was the Kingmaker theme. Uh, it was the one where we had to go through to get. Um... 
the the twins, the tiefling twins. Uh, uh, what was I doing? I was getting rid of my Pokemon. That's what I was doing. And we're buying a couple of full restores, a couple of max potions. Yeah, so that's just really fucking weird. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be playing through those games without music apparently because. Wait, I'm down a rare candy. What rare candy did I miss? Got that one, I got that one. Got those two. What rare candy did I miss? Got the one on bike path. Oh, the one in Silphco. I didn't grab the one in Silphco. That's what it is. That's the one that I'm missing. Right. Well, actually... Because of that, we're actually saving... What are you? You're a Carbos. All right, so you're useless. Um, actually saved a fight there as well because we don't have to fight the guy with the Machoke. All right, there we go. Now, we are going to be badge boosting against the champion and against Lance. So we're going to use nine of the 11 rare candies here. You know, of all of the stone-based evolutions, I think Vileplume probably has the best moveset out of all of them. Um... I'm going to save here. I am very confident in our ability to be able to fight through with what we have. Oh, shit. No, I'm not. I lied. Um. That would have actually been a death eventually, so we're actually going to count it. Uh um. Because I forgot to grab two things that I actually 100% are going to need. All right, wait. Uh, okay, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? It looks like we're back. Hooray, we're back. Oh, shit. No, shut up, me. Shut up, me. I had literally just pulled up the stream on my phone to let everybody know that my internet had shat itself on the, uh... On the, uh... uh in, in my home... Um, yeah, like literally as I talked to Lorelai, I got a message from OBS being like, hey, fuck you. Um, uh, <laughs> you have no internet. Um, yeah. Everyone refresh. My internet died for a sec. There we go. That should get it to both peoples. All right. We're going to get back into it. In three, two, one, go. Why does that not fucking restart? Uh, for whatever reason, my timer is not taking the uh, inputs that I'm putting in unless I actually click on it first, which is very frustrating. Because that's not how that needs to be. <laughs> Just in general. Um, Roar Beam is really scary. But as you can see, it doesn't actually do that much damage to me. 
Um, I'm really curious. We're going to try to body slam the cloister. It does die. Okay. Okay, so Lorelai is pretty straightforward. Um, we just get all of the... We get all of the things. We're not going to body slam... I don't want a sword stance. 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 I don't want a sword stance when I'm using pedal dance. Because if I use sword stance when I pedal dance, I double the damage or triple or quadruple the damage that I do to myself when I hit myself in confusion. I need to stop that. All right. Fortunately, we didn't do that too many times here. All right. So first off, heal again. Second off, we teach mimic. Yeah, I think so. Valero of Fire. No, Minuet of Forest. Um. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of Pedal Dance. We're going to learn Mimic instead. What this does... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Um. And Sleep Powder. He's faster than us. It's not a huge... De it's kind of pro problematic, but it's not the biggest of issues. We just need him to stay asleep so we can Dream Eater. Yet. Okay, we want to put you to sleep. Good. Could you stay the fuck asleep for two turns? God damn it! It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um didn't affect Haunter. That's Taking damage is not a big deal. Forest Temple song gave me nightmares. Forest Temple is creepy as fuck. Forest Temple is very creepy, and the song matches. Like it is it is a very off-putting song. Um, which I always thought was a weird choice, but it's also a very interesting one, right? Like, normally forest songs are very happy, they're very like upbeat. They're they're like Saria song, right? Um they're very, very upbeat pieces of music. Alright. Uh, and now we immediately get rid of Mimic and we teach Mega Drain. Um. Yeah. Words. Sleep Powder. I said Sleep Powder. I said Sleep Powder. Fuck you, sleep powder. Jesus. Words dance. Words dance. Words dance. That's fine. All right. We'll just do that. Uh I I have a lot of appreciation for a lot of the things that they did in uh Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh fuck. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah, the Dragonite can't hurt us. Oh, no, the Dragonite that's forced to use barrier and agility over and over again. Um, I'm actually almost concerned that maybe I didn't even need Mega Drain. No, I need Mega Drain for the Blastoise for sure. For sure I need it for the Blastoise. Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. Fucking finally!
Jesus Christ! Die. Die. Fuck you. Give me all of my health back. You assholes. Jesus Christ. That's the most frustrating thing. I got put to sleep by my own sleep powder. I hate this fucking video game. I hate this video game. Oh, God damn it. You got to be kidding me. Are you I So, we're dead. There's no way for us to come back from this. This is, this is why I hate, well this, hey, this is one of the reasons why I, one of the two reasons that I wanted to make Blastoise the, the permanent rival is because no matter what, as long as it can use Blizzard, it can always pull a win out of its ass. The second is because I didn't want to have to fucking move around to pick different Pokeballs. Uh, I always just wanted the Pokeball that was directly to the right of me when I started. <sighs> yep, that's death. We have no way to get thawed. What the hell? How did I even get here? Oh, I, I, oh, fucking hell. All right, you know what? Fuck you. Man, after that fucking, after the, the, the Pidgeot. Nice crit, by the way. After the Pidgeot, I was so ready for a well-earned win. And then the game's just like, how about... No. How about we don't give you that, by the way? So incredibly frustrating. All right, so we're just going to pedal dance. This is also good info to have. Okay, so we do one-shot both the Hitman Lee and the Hitman Chan. Obviously, we one-shot the Onyx. And the Machamp is going to be a two-shot regardless. Yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we need to get one... I have four elixirs. Uh, we need to get one sword stance in so that we can outspeed the Gengars. Well, basically just to outspeed her Pokemon, right? So we're going to get you to sleep. Fuck. I forgot to teach Mimic. All right, we're back again. I'm definitely not getting salty about all this. Um, here, let me actually go into settings here. While I have all of this, uh, yeah. Why is that disabled? Fuck you. All right. So three, two, one, go. Hey. All right. So yeah, OBS or not OBS, but uh, Live Split decided that it was just going to not. Uh, it was just going to unclick one of my settings. Um. But yeah, we died to Agatha. By the way, uh, there was not really much else to do there. We just fucking died. Um.
All right, we're going to get back into it. Um, but yeah, we died because we forgot to replace Pedal Dance with um, Mimic. So we ended up... Stay asleep, please. Of course, I get an attack drop. All right, we're going to try this at plus five. I'm curious if that's going to make a difference. It doesn't look like it's going to. It looks like plus five or plus six, both of them can work. All right, and we are going to heal because we have taken some damage. And yeah, we're just gonna keep going. All right, so the good thing is we can literally just do the thing where we just pedal dance and pray. Um, I kind of would like, okay, so yeah, this is actually better, I think, for me because this gives me more chances to get unconfused before we get to the uh, Machamp. Unfortunately, we did hit ourselves in confusion once. Uh, it's not the biggest of deals, though. All right. Mimic. Copy over pedal dance. So I think turn one, we sleep powder. Turn two, we sword stance. This allows us to be faster. It does not allow me to be faster. Okay. Two allows me to be faster. All right, so we're just going to go for all three just in case that third one is what is necessary to be faster than the 60. Uh... The level 60, uh, 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 Gengar. The extra badge boost also allow us to one shot, which I don't think we did last time. We're just going to body slam the Arbok. And Dream Meter to one shot. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, we also just hit level 66. Hmm. All right. I'm actually not going to use... I'm actually not going to use... Um, words, stuff, things. The rare candy here. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I'm actually not going to use the rare candy here because we just leveled up, so we don't need to use it for the badge boost glitch. Um, and I'm curious if we will level up on the... Stop doing that. Uh, I'm curious if we will level up on the... Stay asleep, you fuck! Uh. Fucking words. I cannot... Uh, level up on the Dragonite. That's the word I was looking for. Just trying to get some health back so that we could uh, be a little bit safer on the Aerodactyl. Fucker. Okay, good. Whew. We did it. We got past him. Confusion is always scary when we are at plus six on our attack stat. Uh, we did not level up. We are incredibly close to leveling up, but we did not level up. Okay. So what that tells me is there's no point in... If we do have to come back here, there's no point in not using the rare candy before Lance. Uh, we will use an elixir because there's no reason not to. And I think that's everything that we need. Can't use that. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Stay asleep, you fuck. Oh my god, look at how much easier and simpler this was. We're not at zero health. It's fucking great. I'm actually curious if Body Slam one-shots. We know that Mega Drain does not. Body Slam does. Okay, so Mega Drain is actually, like, fairly well, then. Let me just put out that literally exact same message. Refresh once more to if screen isn't back. Oh. Well then, let's take a look at all these stats. Uh, all right, so we got file plume right here. Now, as you can see, we beat Vile Plume 42 minutes faster this time around than last time. Last time it was 2 hours and 40 minutes in real time. This time it is an hour and 57. Slightly under 2 hours. And that was with a horrifically unfortunate blizzard that killed us and forced us to go through the Elite Four two more times, which cost us two deaths, actually. Once because of the blizzard itself, and once uh, one death to Agatha. So we would have actually only had 13 deaths had we not gotten frozen by blizzard. Which actually means that we would also have come in under this 14 deaths. We actually ended up with 15 this time around, but last time we had 14. Set the clip to Discord. Oh, okay, I got the message that uh, you had sent a clip, or you had sent a, a something. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, playtime on here, it's 9 hours and 11 minutes. If you, uh, if we pull this back up, 6 hours and 29 minutes. So, what was that? 2 hours and 40 minutes faster? 2 hours and 40 minutes faster in game time. 40 minutes faster in real time. One more death but that's because of some bullshit. And uh, I think we are actually also level 69, so we're also one level lower as well. Um, So one hour, 57 minutes and 49 seconds, 15 deaths. What did I just say? 629, six hours, 29 minutes, uh, not 20, 29 minutes. And I believe level 69, we will have to double check that. So we'll, we'll, we will go through the credits, and then we will uh, take a look. Take a look at our top, at our level. Um, and then after we do that, I'm probably gonna end the stream because for whatever reason, my eye. So here's the thing. Uh, I just checked. It is not any of my hardware. Like, my my modem isn't discon disconnecting. My router isn't fucking up. It is literally my ISP is doing something that is causing these disconnects. There's literally nothing that I can do about it. Um, like, normally, I could, like, go out and I can reset the router or the modem, and that usually fixes it. This is literally, I just have to wait until... It comes back up. There's nothing I can do about it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, level 69. Hell yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, under two hours, 15 deaths, and six and a half hours. Hey, I know which song this is. Yep. <laughs> After the first three notes of this song, I was like, I recognize this, and I've only played the game once. <laughs> um. So yeah, we're gonna cut it here. We got, you know, it's a little bit early, about a half hour early, but uh, with all the disconnects, uh, I'm not gonna risk pulling up something else just to be disconnected for half the time. Um. 
and I have to walk into work again. Um, despite the so I have my car back. By the way, I mentioned this. I think I mentioned this on stream. I have my car back, and so I've been able to drive in when I need to. Uh, for the past two weeks, I tried to drive home yesterday, and I almost didn't make it because my car decided that it wanted to start dying on me. So I got my car back, but now it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with it. Um, it's probably a very simple fix. Unfortunately, I am not a fucking car guy, so I don't know shit all about it. Um, fortunately, I have friends that are, so I'm going to contact them over the weekend and have them come over and help me out with it. But that means that I'm w without a car for the rest of the week. Um, not the biggest deal. I'm kind of used to walking in to work anyway, but I am going to have to start walking in. <laughs> all right uh yeah like i said it's probably just i either need i'm hoping it's not that i need a new alternator because that's gonna be way more of a pain in the ass to deal with um i'm hoping it's just uh it, it's like i'm fucking low on fluids or something like because like Two lights popped up at the same time yesterday. Low oil pressure, which is very easy to do. You just add more oil. But also, a uh, charging system malfunction also popped up, which could be alternator, could be dead battery, which wouldn't make any sense because the battery is actually relatively new. Um, but who the fuck knows? Um, like I said, I'm going to just not deal with it right now. I'm going to talk to my buddy have him come over or ask him to come over uh this weekend and take a look at it yeah we'll go we'll go from there um yeah i'm gonna go uh for the rest of the week tomorrow no stream as always always off on thursday it's my uh rest day friday we're starting up the routing and the practicing and the testing and the building of Excuse me. Of the Kingmaker unfair speedrun. Um, I think what we're going to be doing... I think I mentioned it uh, yesterday, but I'll mention it again today. I think what we will be doing mostly is we will be... Uh, testing the any percent strats to see how much they work on unfair. To see if they work on unfair is is the word that i meant to say um and depending on how those go we will move on from there um so yeah that's on friday saturday we're doing more unfair or not unfair uh kingmaker auto build reviews we're going to be going through the final three mercs in the house at the edge of time and uh after that all we have after that is the varn holds lot dlc characters and then we are done we are done with all of the auto builds. It's been, well, last week was, or I think this week is going to be episode 27. So I think we're going to get 29 episodes. That's 30 weeks. We've been doing auto build judgment day for 30 weeks now. Well, 27 weeks, right? That's kind of crazy. I just I just realized that. Yeah. Like it. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you everybody for hanging out and watching. I appreciate y'all as always. And as always. Oh, 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 I lied. One more thing. 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 We can't just end without knowing what Pokemon we're gonna be running next Wednesday. So let's find out. 147. I think that's Dragonair, which I think we've done. Let me let me pull it up. 50, 49, 48, 47. No, 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 sorry. Dragonair is the only one that we haven't done. That's Dratini, which we have. Okay, so we got to reroll. 15. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's Beedrill, which we've already done. 136. All right. What is 136? 
Flareon, which we've already done. Son of a bitch. 46. What is 46? Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys. 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 It's Paris. Paris is the next one. Paris! Uh... Uh... That's gonna be a rough one. Paris is not great. Paris is not great. Uh... It has a couple of, uh, if it's like it's, it's evolution, Parasect, which we have done. Uh... It's not an it's not quite a nightmare run. It has some redeeming qualities. Its moveset actually isn't terrible, I I think. Well, actually, we know for a fact that it learns dig, which right there, that's a really good move to have. Right? Because we use it to get dig in a lot of our runs. Uh, or to be able to use dig in a lot of our runs. So And if I remember correctly, it also learns sword stance, which is another obviously very very incredible move um it also gets spore which is a 100 percent accurate sleep move maybe not maybe it's not terrible maybe it's not terrible we'll have to see we'll have to see uh but yeah that's next wednesday next wednesday we're gonna be playing with paris uh but yeah now i'm actually gonna go Thank you, everybody, for hanging out and watching. I appreciate y'all, as always. And, as always, thank you for words. I forgot my outro. Oh, God. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Hope y'all have a good evening, and hope to see you next time. Bye!